Hi everyone, this is Sia Jordi. In this video, I would like to explain how to graph trigonometric functions sine and cosine. Uh, if this video is helpful for you, please like and share, and please leave a comment if you want me to explain a particular topic for the next video. Okay, let's get to it. So first, I wanna draw y equal to sine a. This is the parent function. You need to know this first before you draw the graph for more complex equation. So sine graph is, you have to remember, it's always start from zero. So this is a, this is y. So I will draw like this. It start from zero, and this is one cycle, okay? One full cycle is n is two pi, and this is pi. This is called y equal to sine x, and one and minus one. The range is always one and minus one for this, for this. So if you, you can also go this way, it will be negative pi, right? Go this way. So this is y equal to sine x, you need to remember, and y equal to cos x. y equal to cos x is like this. Uh, cos x is, uh, it starts from 1, sine starts from 0, cos starts from 1, okay? So I will draw this, so 1 cycle, okay? 1, 4, yeah, it's another 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4. So it is 2, 5, 0, like this. This is y equal to cos x. You need to remember these things before you draw any graph. Okay, so I want to write down a formula y equal to a trig uh, trig b x plus c plus t. This is the formula for drawing trigonometric functions. Uh, a is amplitude. Amplitude. amplitude is the high order function. This is for this case amplitude is one. Okay? For this case also amplitude is one. The high is the amplitude. So if it is two here, amplitude will be two. If it is three, amplitude will be three, negative three. Okay, so A is amplitude and uh, period. Period is two pi pi b. Two pi over b, which is period. Period means uh, it's a distance for the function to complete one full cycle. So if you come from here to here, this is one period. Okay? If you come from here to here, this is one period. One half, another half, called period. From in this case, if you come from here to here, this is called period. Okay? If you continue like this, you start from here, so it will end here. So period. Okay? So this one is a period to calculate the period. And another one is the phase shift. Phase shift is when you start the function, drawing the graph. When you start drawing the graph, this is phase shift, which is negative c over b. So you are going to uh, understand more when, when we do the example. So I'm going to continue. So amplitude, period, phase shift, you need to know. And then this one, d. d is vertical translation, which means moving upward and moving downward. If it is positive, it will, the function will move up. If it is negative, the function will move downward. Okay, so we need to use this formula for graphing. Now I would like to erase these and to draw example. period with this formula 2 pi over b so 2 pi over b b is b is 2 right so because it's a trick trick may any trigonometric function sine cos tan sec, uh, sine cos tan anything so uh, this one would be a sine b x okay so negative 2 pi by b which means b is 2 so if you cancel that will be pi 2 and 2 cancel and then you're going to find phase shift. Phase shift. Phase shift is negative c over b. So 
negative c two pi plus c right this is there is zero only so negative zero over here is two so which is zero so you have to start draw from zero okay before we do anything I wanna draw a little bit small a little bit of sign you have to memorize you have you memorize and like this this is cosine or I'm going to do cosine is okay Sine is cosine. Okay, so when you go to sine, so we have to draw like this. Okay, zero to two pi. Period. For this case, period becomes pi only. Okay, so let me draw. Mm, okay, I will just draw here. So phase shift is zero, so you have to start from zero, and you go this way like this because it is sine. So I go like this, and then it's end of the period. So the period is pi in this case, so this will be pi, this will be pi by 2. And amplitude, amplitude is pi, pi, so this is the height, so it is 2, it is negative 2. In this case, amplitude is 1, okay? This is 1 here, yeah. so this is 2. And that's it, that's how to draw this y equal to uh, 2 sine 2 a. That's it, you can also continue like this. So continue like this, will be pi pi by 2. 3 by 2. If you draw this, it will be negative 5 by 2. Okay? I want to explain another example. Let me erase this first. And another example would be y equal to negative 1 plus sine 8. Oh, no, no, no. I, I will do another one. I want to explain, focus on this formula. So y is equal to 1 by 2 cos 1 by 2 x minus pi by 3. Okay, now I want to compare with this formula cosine of bx, bx plus c plus t. There is no particle translation, plus 0, okay? So amplitude is 1 by 2 in this case. And period is 2 pi over b. So 2 pi. b is 1 by 2 here. So it is, if you flip it, it will be 4 pi. Period, period is 4 pi in this case. And you have to find phase shift. Phase shift will be negative c over b. So it will be negative c. So negative, 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 negative pi by 3 over b is 1 by 2, which is it will become positive. Pi by 3 times 2, it will be 2 pi over 3. So, this is where you start that, where you start drawing the function. Now, this is cosine, so you have to draw this way. This is why I'm going to cosine it. Okay, now let me draw. So, you have to start uh, with 2 pi by 3. 2 pi by 3, so let's say it is pi here, 2 pi here, 3 pi, 4 pi. Pi by here. So 2 pi by 3 will be somewhere around here, right? More than half. So I will say 2 pi by 3 is here. And then you have to start from the up. No? Cosine is you always start from number one. One like in like from, from up, from above. So like you have to start from here. Okay. And then like the function, the period, one word is n is 4 pi. So I will I want to So you know the starting point of the function, which is here, and you know how long how long is the function, I mean the distance of wavelength is here. So we can find out the one way, one way, one word it n. So uh, this is the starting point, and we know how long will it be. So it is 4 pi. If you add it, you will get 14 pi over 3. And then you can also find out the half wave y. Half wave will be half of this, right? Half of 4 pi, so 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. That's the half wave y, which is 8 pi over 3. Look at this. Okay, now this one will be more than 4, a little more than 4, so this is the end point. And half wave y will be 3 pi, 3 pi by 3, 8 pi by 3, so which is uh, more than 2 around here. This is the half wave y. Okay, so we have to draw exactly like this. This is, this is 
the hop is in the air, right? So A is here, and N is here, and the hop is here. So this is the amplitude, amplitude is half. So now it is half. Amplitude went here, amplitude half. So we draw it half. Okay. So it will go here. Then it should be. That's it. That's how we draw. Y equal to half cos half x minus i by 3. You can continue like this. That's how we draw. Okay. I want to explain another formula. Another example. Uh, This one would be y equal to minus 2 sine 5x plus 3 pi. Okay, I will remove, I will do without negative first, then I will explain with negative. So this one would be we will we have to compare with with compare with sine bx plus c. Okay, so amplitude is 2 here and period is 2 pi over b which is 2 pi over b is here is pi so area is 2 and phase shift phase shift would be negative c over b which is negative 3 pi over pi which is negative 3 it's a starting y right the way you start the function okay now let me do we have to start from negative 3 here so negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 1 2 Three. Now you know the starting point, starting point is this, and you, you know how long it is, it's period, period is 2. So it will end here, it will start here. The amplitude is 2, amplitude is 2. So it will go here, it will go up, and like this. That's it. You can continue. And what do? And put it here too, and then here. Okay? So this is how you draw y equal to. 2 sine pi x plus 3 pi. Okay? So, all you have to do is compare with this equation and find out the amplitude and find out the period and phase shift. Phase shift is where you start. You start here and then add with this. Minus 3 plus 2 to know the m1. So, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. You start from here and end it here. And then you just draw it. And the rest are like exactly the same as the first first period you can draw. That's how you draw 2 sine, 2, two sine pi x plus 3 pi. Okay, how about if we put negative here? So it will change a bit. Uh, if you put neg if they put negative here, the, the, the amplitude is still the same, period is the same, everything is the same, only it will change. The, the graph will be reflected by x axis. It will be reflection on x axis if you put negative from the outside. I'm going to explain this in the next video, uh, another video about the transformation of function. Okay, so if you put, just remember this, if you put negative from the outside, the graph will be reflected by x axis. So uh, actually the graph will go like this. So reflection by x axis. Okay, this one reflected by x axis. Okay, so this the blue graph is negative 2 sine pi x plus 3 pi okay so let me erase this let me do another graph another example you have to understand better okay this one will be y equal to half cos 2 pi minus 1 by 2 okay as usual, I was going to compare with A cos B X plus C plus D. So A would be 1 by 2 here. And uh, period is 2 pi over B. So 2 pi. B, B is 2 here. 2 pi. Or B X, 2 pi. Cos 2. Cos 2 X. Sorry. This is cos 2 X. 
So period is 2 pi over 2. There is no C. Okay? So 2 pi over 2. If you cancel, it will be pi. And phase shift. Phase shift is negative C over B. So negative C. C is 0. So it will, you have to start with 0. And then there is radical translation. You have to move the graph downward by half units. I'm going to get to that later. First, we're going to do this first. Okay? So you have to start from zero. You know the starting point now. And uh, you know the end point because it just add with this. This and this, you know the end point. So end point will be five. And then halfway point will be five by two. So because this cosine, you have to start from the F. So it will be like this. This is graph. And you can do it like this. This will be five by four. This will be negative five by four. Okay. So this one is that I have a translation. I have an that if you add it, you if you add if if it is positive, it will go up. If it is negative, it will go down. So in this case, it will go down by half units. So you have to put down this graph downward by half unit. And right now it is one by two here, negative one by two here. So if you do it like downward, if you move it downward half half units, the graph would be. Then the minimum point here, it will be half. So it will, be, it will reach here, negative one. And this point will be here. So now I will just draw this. So this point will be here. And it will be like... Okay, so this is y equal to half cos 2x minus 1 by 2. This one, the, 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 red, uh, the black graph is y equal to 1 by 2 cos 2x, not yet, minus 1 by 2. If you separate it from the outside, the graph will move downward. If you, in, in this case, if it is black, it will go upward by half units. Okay? So this is how you draw uh, sine and cosine of cosine graphs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.